Welcome, I've done a number of videos on this PlusTech ePhoto Z300 scanner and I'll put a link in the description to those videos and I'll also put some links in the description where you can buy this and if you use those links it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I've had this for a while now, it's been at least a year and since I did my previous video they've updated the software a little bit so I did a follow-up video, this is a follow-up to the follow-up. I had some issues with this where every once in a while when you're scanning one of the photos would get tilted in the interface. So I have the latest version on here and I want to do a test and see if these problems have been resolved. So I'll get started and I'll scan a bunch of photos. Okay, so it looks like I've scanned 44 images and it's been about six and a half minutes for that. And looking through here, none of them are angled like I was having trouble with. So I blurred out the screen for privacy reasons. So I'm going to rescan these and see if we have any more issues. Okay, so I've scanned 60 photos and that's the limit on here. So I have to save these out. And again, I'm not having any trouble. So now I'm going to try and click on them. So another issue I had is where you had to almost drag to click on them. And it looks like that is also fixed on here. So two of the main issues I had with this system are fixed in this latest release of software. And they released maybe two or three different versions in between. So I don't know if this one fixed it or one of the previous releases. So I really like this scanner. You know, it was relatively cheap and it's small, so what I usually do is I keep this in its box and if I have a bunch of photos to scan, I'll pull it out, set it on my desk, plug it in, scan the photos. When I'm done, I'll put it in back in the box for storage and it has a nice handle on it. I can hand it off to a family member if they want to scan some photos, so you know it's a really handy tool to have. So that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.